Good evening, open stage. Always good to be back. Just a hair. So yeah, like Russ said, a couple of weeks ago, I celebrated my 40th birthday. Oh my God, gasp, you don't look a day over 39 and a half, I know, thank you. Um, so yeah, I, I'm officially in the ranks of old now, and, and uh, you know what they say about uh, oil and water, memory, and age, so if I repeat anything, I apologize in advance. So, um, and uh, I just wanted to share a little bit of some of, some of my observations that I've had uh, living this long, and what better way to, to in, encourage the youth is by talking about death. So, some years back, I remember reading a story about this uh, uh, Chicago, newly widowed Chicago woman, and her husband, she, she put on a classic Irish wake for her husband, and she was like, you know, it's really, really sad Ben couldn't make this. And this octogenarian decided that she would make her own wake. It's like, what well, a fantastic idea. She, next year, she has a fantastic wake, decides for herself, had such a good time, she decides to have one every year until she dies, and then add one. So I tell my friend this, you know, this is back, you know, 10, 12 years ago. I'm like, this is such a great idea. You just have your own wake every single year. And he says, what, like a birthday party? <laughs> yeah, I didn't die this year. Woo! Which is actually kind of, I honestly mean that. I didn't die this year. Yay. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so, so when you hear me say, good for not dying, I do mean that honestly. Um, yeah, I, I, do, I do want to apologize for uh, repeating anything because they, uh, you know, they say about memory and, and uh, the first thing to go is, is your memory and the second thing is um, that, uh, the hair, right, Russ? So actually, I was, I was a um, week before my birthday, I was showering and I was you know, trying to keep the hair from going down the drain. I was, I could tell there was still one on my hand that's like, where's the, where's that little blighter? I finally pick it off and there's this 20 inch long gray hair. It's probably 30, which is accurate. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I set it up with the others and I, I realized at that point that gray hair by itself, not that noticeable. It's like your body is apologizing for growing hair in places you never knew you even had by making it just a little harder to see. <laughs> they also say that uh, with age comes wisdom. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. With experience comes wisdom if you learn. With age comes perspective. Eh, there's a fine distinction, but it's one I want to make. You know, when you're young, you're always so panicked and worried about so far things. You know, jokes aside, I remember getting married at 19 and dealing with a new household and school and getting my life together and being so worried and frantic and staying up nights and losing sleep because what about this? Did I get this step right? What about this step? Did, did I do this right? Did I, do I need to do it again? And, and most importantly, most terrifyingly, if I get it wrong, what will people think? Yeah, you say that now, but this was 20 years ago. Sorry, 22 years ago now. Um, ultimately, the, one of the big lies they tell you in school is there is a right answer. There is not a right answer. There is no one true way. There is the goal and the path you take to get there. Now, if, if you really, you know, the hardest part of, of being young is getting that goal, finding that path, and, and it's very important to, to use the parable of the, the rocks, the pebbles, and the sand, and the coffee to prioritize your goal. But ultimately, you've got a goal, a path. I want to be here at this point in my life. How you get there is not quite irrelevant because as long as you're not harming someone, get there in the way that gets you there. That's really all, all there is to it. That's the perspective. Uh, like Bruce Lee said, I'm a big fan of, of Bruce Lee's wisdom. 
make the Kung Fu your own, make the path your own, because you're going to do it your way no matter what. You can learn, definitely learn from wise people and experienced people and know how they've done it. But even if you follow their steps, you will do it your way. There's, there's your perspective. Perspective also gives you the ability to take risks because you know that you know, with age, with time, you know, I've, I've done this. The doing is the important part. And even if you don't get there the first time, you still have time to do it because, yay, I'm not dead. It gives you the ability to take, take the risks. It gives you the, the courage to love passionately and fully, knowing that you will hurt. And it's okay, because you will love again and you will hurt again. You may even still love, and that's all right. Gives you, perspective gives you the ability to fail and try again. This is what I have learned from my life so far, is take the time to do. So go out there and do it.